Hello there, this is Only One Kenobi. And I would like to argue the case that we need an A-Wing pilot in the vintage collection. So, we have seen three vehicle cards in particular in the previous vintage collection between 2010 and 2012. And that was the B-Wing pilot card made a return. The AT-AT Commander. The TIE Fighter pilot. Now there's one vehicle card in particular that could see a return and give us a brand new figure. An updated figure at least. And that is the A-Wing pilot. Now, when I think of modern A-Wing pilots, I think of Taicho Selchu, because I sort of connect Taicho Selchu and Kian Farlander together, because previously in the 1980s, these guys didn't have identities. It was just known as B-Wing pilot and A-Wing pilot, and that is all you got. When they brought back the B-Wing card and the B-Wing pilot in the vintage collection in 2011, VC-63, the guy had a new identity. It was Kian Farlander. In my search for a modern A-Wing pilot, I acquired Taicho Selchu around about the same time, who is a great figure, fantastic, and there's several different modern A-Wing pilots you can get. Most of them are very rare here in the UK anyway, and I, any of them I would love to repack, except for Taicho Selchu, who doesn't go for as, lot, as much money. But there are several notable A-Wing pilots that have existed. Skylar Cott, Arvel Crinid, Taicho Selchu, Jake Farrell. I remember Jake Farrell, of course, as the Rookie One trainer from Rebel Assault, the video game. I loved that video game as a kid. But if they were to bring back the A-Wing card, the classic A-Wing card that was last seen in the Power of the Force line in the 1980s, they could indeed give us either a brand new pilot or a repack of one that was slightly rare or now goes for a lot of money on the secondary market. The one that comes to mind most of all is Arvil Crinid. He's the most recognisable A-Wing pilot in all of Return of the Jedi. Most notably for that famous scene when he was responsible for the death of Admiral Piet, as well as the others and the destruction of the command ship. But speaking of Arvil Crinid and A-Wing pilots, the card... I'm kind of torn on what I would like to see more. Yes, I'm a fan of the idea of the classic A-Wing pilot card coming back. However, I wouldn't say no to a brand new card altogether. Now, one of the more recognisable features of the A-Wing pilot is their helmet and their green flight suits. So there are a couple of options on the plate there. It would be nice to see either or, really. However... Most notably, I think that the A-Wing Classic card would be the best thing to see back. Or if you were to go for a character card, I feel somebody like Sila Cott could come back because I think they need a little bit more recognition. Not only was this character, female character, overdubbed with a man's voice, um, they were also cut from the movie. So it would be nice to have a kind of a cut scenes and tribute to this actress, who, unless I'm completely wrong, uh, let me know in the comments, was the first female pilot to feature in a Star Wars film albeit it was a cutscene. Let me know your thoughts on the A-Wing pilot. I love A-Wings. The vehicle itself is fantastic. It would be really, really nice to see an A-Wing card in whichever form it can be released. And I do recognise the fact that we have had an A-Wing in the Mon Calamari pilot. However, there's more they could give us, most definitely, in terms of bringing back a classic. This is Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out. <laughs>